Hi, my name is Ketki. I'm Dr. Hannah Kalam's patient. I saw Dr. Hannah first time in April. That's where I fell in love with Dr. Hannah's diagnosis and what a beautiful human being she is and this hospital is. Uh, I always say this that the hospital is not something or some place that people love to go to, but I love coming to Kings. I was diagnosed with uh, something called as adenomyosis and I had never heard about it because usually every gynec I had been to said it's fibroids but I came to Dr. Hannah as she diagnosed this as adenomyosis and then I was asked to be operated. The surgery was for two hours and that's it. Life was brilliant after that. Two weeks rest and everything was fine I could go back to normal I'm absolutely fine now and the issues are sorted I usually had the monthly issues uh, with my periods and there was a lot of pain cramps and all the issues are fine and I'm okay now so thank you very much for Kings being there every staff I would just love to uh, appreciate everyone who was involved in the surgery including or not involved in the surgery the housekeeping, the nurses, and everyone. Dr. Hannah, of course, has my heart for always. So, thank you. Hi, my name is Dr. Hannah Kalam. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist and a laparoscopic surgeon in King's College Hospital, based on the Bay Hills. Adenomyosis is a condition where the inner lining of the uterus, which is also called the endometrium, is found between the muscle layers of the uterus. These women have typically very painful and heavy periods. It is found in the reproductive age group, so women who are having their periods. There are some women who have pain also in between periods and it is difficult for them to go around with their daily activities. When Ketki came to me for the first time in April last year, she had symptoms of very painful periods, very heavy periods. She had tried a couple of medications, but uh, she didn't benefit much from that. She had been diagnosed with uh, fibroid in her previous consultation with other doctors. When I performed a scan on her, um, I was actually surprised to see that the uterus showed features of adenomyosis. So for a confirmation, we actually got an MRI done and it confirmed that she had adenomyosis. Now, adenomyosis does not uh, per se need a surgical treatment. There are some medical treatments which work very well with adenomyosis and adenomyosis is treated based on the age group of the patient and their, their main symptoms. So we tried a couple of medications first for her but then she came back again after six months and she wanted a long-term solution which would you know, uh, just get her out of regular medicines and to take medicines during her periods. So then we discussed uh, surgical treatment with her. Adenomyosis, if it's an older age group uh, in women who are who are done with their children, hysterectomy would be uh, the main surgical treatment in such cases. But she was 37 at that time and we didn't know whether she would um, want to have children later on. So we discussed a treatment called laparoscopic adenomyomectomy. It's a keyhole surgery and in which we actually remove the disease part of the uterus. They were happy to go ahead with it. We discussed it with the couple and then we planned the surgery. We, I think, performed the surgery in November and it went really well. She recovered pretty quickly and she's very fit and active and she leads a very healthy lifestyle and exercises regularly. So she bounced back. I have um, reviewed her for almost three times now and she seems to be completely symptom free so I'm very happy with how it went for her.